Hey, so my life insurance agents, financial advisors, you don't necessarily need more leads, you need more engaged leads. Now, what's the difference? A lead is simply anybody that you can contact. So that list of 10,000 email addresses that you bought, technically those are leads. The connections you have on LinkedIn, those are leads. Facebook friends, those are leads because you can contact them. Now that doesn't mean anything unless they're actually engaging with you. We want people to interact with our content, request more information, want to take the next steps forward. So how do we do that? The first phase is gonna be offering somebody a lead magnet. Now, a lead magnet is a piece of value that you offer somebody in exchange for their contact information. It's, it's almost like an ethical bribe. And when that person requests that information from you, that's essentially them digitally raising their hand to say, hey, this is relevant to me, this is important to me. So how do we go about creating that lead magnet? My recommendation to you is to think about who that ideal client is that you want to work with. Is it a business owner, a doctor, a dentist, a C-suite executive? Now, what is their primary financial pain point that you can help them alleviate? Is it retirement income planning, market risk, longevity? Is it healthcare costs? <laughs> the list goes on and on. It's going to be different depending on who you want to work with. And then from there, we can offer them a PDF, a book, a white paper, a checklist, a webinar, something that is going to help solve that financial pain point that they are concerned about and get them to start coming over in your direction. That's there's three phases to any successful marketing campaign. You have to attract prospects consistently, nurture them effectively, and convert them into paying clients. So if you want help creating these lead magnets and power offers, shoot me a message. Happy to help however I can. Talk to you soon.